28 Days of Poetry, Poets Make Black History, performed by M. Iodeli Heath. A poem about intelligence for my brothers and sisters by June Jordan. A few years back, and they told me black means a hole where other folks got brain. It was like the cells and the heads of black children was out to every hour on the hour naps. Scientists call the phenomenon the notorious Jensen lapse, remember? Anyway, I was thinking about how to devise a test for the wise, like a Stanford Binet for the CIA, you know? Take Einstein, being the most, the unquestionable, the outstanding, the maximal mind of the century, right? And I'm struggling against this lapse left over from my black childhood to fathom why anybody should say so. E equals MC squared. I tried that on this old lady live on my block. She's sweeping away Saturday night from the stoop and mad as can be because some absolute jackass have left a king size mattress where she had to sweep around it stains and all. She don't want to know nothing about in the first place. Mrs. Johnson, I say, leaning on the gate between us. What you think about somebody come up with an E equals MC2? How you doing? She answered me sideways, like she don't want to let on she know I ain't combed my hair yet. And here it is Sunday morning, but still I have the nerve to be bothering serious work with these crazy questions about E equals what you say again, dear? Then I tell her, well, also the same guy. I think he was undisputed father of the atom bomb. That right, she mumbles or grumbles, not too politely and then remember to wear socks when he put on his shoes, I add on, getting desperate. At which point Mrs. Johnson take herself and her broom a very big step down the stoop away from me and never did nothing for nobody in particular less than it was a committee and used to say, what time is it? And you say, six o'clock. And he say, day or night. And, and he never made nobody a cup of tea in his whole brilliant life. And my voice rises slightly, and he didn't never boogie, neither, never. Well, said Mrs. Johnson, well, honey, I do guess that's genius for you.